are the numbers from the Democratic candidates. Incumbent Roy Cooper easily defeated Ernest Reeves. Okay, let's check the Republican side wanting to be the next governor in North Carolina. The AP projects current Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest will be on the Republican ballot in November. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is live tonight from the Republican Watch Party in Raleigh. And Maggie, you got a chance to talk to Dan Forrest tonight. Mari, as we did, Dan Forrest came in as the front runner, but in a speech to supporters a short time ago, said even he was surprised by the wide margin of victory. Now, Forrest brought in nearly 90% of the vote and will face current Governor Roy Cooper in the November election. Forrest says his campaign will focus on unity, opportunity, and possibility for North Carolina. He discussed jobs and education and talked about what an important role North Carolina will play in this political season, both in statewide and national elections. That's probably going to be the number one governor's race in the country, number one Senate race in the country. The 2020 convention goes through here and for President Trump, uh, maybe a top four state even. So it's going to be a lot of attention on North Carolina politically. It's going to be the tip of the spear. And our job is to push forward with a positive campaign. And his opponent, Holly Grange, released a statement thanking her supporters and saying she is committed to supporting Republicans in November. We're live at Republican headquarters, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.